Okay, a rectangle is actually a bit harder than a square, I'm very sorry to say. So, what we're going to do is start with a nice long line there. It is 15 centimetres, but it doesn't particularly matter what it is. And I'm going to have a point here and a point down here. And just for the sake of clarity, I'm going to call them A and B. What I'm going to do is use these. To, I'm going to make some little marks coming out from there. And then I'm going to use those to make the shapes for, um, for my perpendicular lines. So these are not actually going to be the arcs themselves. So here we go. So as you can see, and these are all exactly the same distance out from A and B, which is important. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bisect them. Just like you've probably seen me do, well hopefully you've seen me do in other videos. So this is going to give me my lines that go straight up and down. So hopefully this is looking familiar. Oh gee, that was close. And, oops, got it backwards there. And this one here. There we go. So now what I can do is I can get my lines going straight up. Now that we're actually much closer to the end than you probably think we are. So I go up here. Now the next question is, because I've got, by this point, I've actually got um, three out of my four sides. I just need to put the lid on it. So here's what I do. I set this for how high I want the triangle to be. And I'm actually going to make this one nice and high. And I'm going to mark, put a mark there. And I'm going to put a mark on the other side, which, because I'm using the same setting, will be as far up the line. And then I just lean across it. And I run it from mark to mark. And there we have ourselves a nice, perfect rectangle.